Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and it is time for the Gnome Dyes Motorcycle Add-ons assembly video. Hey, so I'm using the brand new Gnome Dyes Motorcycle Add-ons along with you're gonna want the Gnome Dyes, maybe Girl Gnome Dyes, and this Bicycle and Friends um, die set is pretty handy as well. And I'm using P13 stamping pad skin tones. I'm using this cardstock stack from Die Cuts with a Friend and some Recollections paper here. I'm just using a bunch of different um, glossy card stocks. So Simon Says Stamp Black Glossy, they're holographic. I'm also using Doodle Bugs down on the farm and they're gingham linen. Oh, I'm showing that Stampin' Up pad again, or not the Stampin' Up pad, P13 Stamping Pad Skin Tones. That is available from Jada Blossom too. Okay, so I'm going to put together the little gnome. I'm using some Barely Art glue. All my die cutting today was done with my Anna Griffin Mini Empress. So I'm starting out with some black cardstock from American Crafts. You'll see that I cut the top of that other hat off of the jade off of the uh, gnome, and then I'm adding the new hat shape on. Next, I'm adding on this piece. It's just some um, foil cardstock that was from the I believe that was the Simon Says Stamp Holographic Rainbow. Next, I'm going to add in the little horns that came from the exact same paper. I just sort of laid those two die cuts over the center of that holographic rainbow foil uh, just so I could get that yellowish color that's not really gold, more yellow. There we go. Now, his beard is American Crafts uh, gray cardstock, and I did use some close to my heart white pigment ink to use around the edge. Any white pigment ink would do. Okay, so next I'm adding on this blue foil hat. I believe that was from the um, die cuts with a view foiled cardstock stack. But you can get foiled cardstock from a lot of different places. Just use whatever you'd like to use. I'm going to overlap the little, the little mustache, which is also cut from that American Crafts gray foil using my reverse tweezers and that same Barely Art glue. And then I will pop up his little nose with some Stampin' Up Dimensionals. That is that P13 Stamping Pad Skin Toads. Remember, that's available from the Jada Blossom store. There we go. So there is my little motorcycle guy. Now you could leave them like that, or you could give them some goggles. So I cut the goggles out of black cardstock, and then I used Simon Says Stamp Black Glossy cardstock for the little, you know, shades parts. I'm going to weight that down and then I'm going to add that to the helmet. But if you want to do that, you want to overlap the, the nose or the, uh, you know, overlap the mustache a bit. So that's why I pulled the nose off so you could see that. So now I'm going to overlap the mustache a bit, give him the goggles on the hat. And then I'm going to add his little nose. Isn't that cute? So cute. So remember, you could add just bare feet to this and you're in business. Or, you know, you could use them on the motorcycle, which I will after. So I'm just going to add in two pair or two black shoes just for the meantime so you get the gist. So the helmet looks super cute on its own, right? With the goggles. So fun. Okay, so next I've got um, a little gnome again. That's our gnome dies. Cut off the top of the hat doing gnome surgery. Then I'll add this little kerchief hat that's cut out of that same um, black cardstock from American Crafts. Now this fun little kerchief pattern, that is from the Down on the Farm six inch pad from Doodlebug. It just has this really fun, um, um, you know, kerchief pattern that kind of reminds me of it. So I use that. I did ink around it in fired brick just to give it a little bit of a fun darker edge. And there we go. And I'm adding on my American Crafts gray mustache uh, to the beard. Use that same white pigment ink around the edge. And then I will pop up his little nose with some Stampin' Up Dimensionals again. So easy stuff. So now he's got a cute little nose. He almost looks like a little pirate. Okay, next I'm going to put together one of these little motorcycles. So first I cut the first piece out of, I believe, American Crafts black cardstock. Now I'm going to add in silver mirror, or first of all, I'm adding that red mirror cardstock stock from that same die cuts with a view foiled stack. Then I'll add in the silver foil or mirror cardstock handles. So that's what you do. You start with the base of the, you know, handlebar base, and then you add in your, you know, your colored items on the top. This is actually some glimmer cardstock. It's just white shimmer cardstock. 
And I'm just using that for my little headlights. So everything's all glued together. I will weight it down. Now I cut the tires out of Paper Trank black cardstock. So I'm just going to lay the tire on top of this little piece with the little, I don't know what that's called, a fender, I guess, with a little fender piece on top. So I cut them both out of black. I figured it didn't really make a difference. Now you could choose to pop this little red piece up. Um, in this one, I didn't, but you certainly could. There we go. And I do weight that down. Now this is the little sidecar. So I cut it out of Paper Trank black cardstock, then that same red mirror cardstock. Then I'm going to add on the second layer of that red mirror cardstock. I figured what the heck, I'll just keep it the same. Now I do cut the little visor or windshield out of black glossy cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. There we go. This is so cute. Now the little tire is cut from that same Paper Trank black cardstock and I'll just lay that down right there. This is pretty straightforward using that same Barely Art glue. And then there's that little fender piece for that sidecar. So you could choose to use the motorcycle with the sidecar or not, with the high handles or just the straight handles. Those are your options. Now this is the little attachment piece that's cut out of that same silver mirror cardstock. There we go. And then there is my little sidecar. Okay, so these are actually the two little legs for the gnome. So I cut it out of um, American Crafts black cardstock, then I'm adding on some jean colored cardstock that is actually from that doodlebug down on the farm. And I did ink around the edge with some faded jeans distress ink just for fun. Next, I'm going to add on the shoes that were cut out of paper tray ink black cardstock. And then the um, the tops of the shoes were cut out of black glossy cardstock from Simon Says Stamp, just for fun, right? And there we go. And there are the two little legs. Remember, you could make them whatever colors you want. Then I'll add the two little soles on, just cut from Paper Trank black cardstock. And we'll add those on as well. You could have left them like I had them. That would have worked as well. But if you want to put all the layers on, you're welcome to. And there you go. And there are the two little legs. I do weight them down. And then I'll show you how everything goes together. Next, I'm going to put together the rest of the motorcycle. So first, I'm adding this red silver or this red mirror cardstock to American Crafts black cardstock. Then I'm adding on the two little foot rests. And I just cut those out of black cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. I'm using my Studio Catty embellishment wand to pick things up and place them. There we go. So remember, we've got the tire assembled already with the fender and we've got the handlebars assembled already. Next, we're going to glue down the handlebar piece. So you'll see that lines up perfectly. There we go. Everything's lined up. I do weight it down. Next, I have these two little, I don't even know what these are called. Are they shocks? Whatever but these need to be added next. So that is cut out of that same silver mirror cardstock. There's a little um, angle at the top that goes near the handlebars and it fits in perfectly in a little notch there. So you can't mix them up. And there we go. And I will weight that down. Next, we will stick down the, um, the tire and I'm going to pop it up with some dimensionals. These, I believe, are scrap, I don't know if they're scrapbook adhesives, they're black ones. Not super high, but they give it a little bit of dimension. And I'm just going to line up the bottom of the tire. And there we go. And there's the motorcycle. It is super easy to put together. Okay, so next what you do is you line up your little, your little gnome on the, on the, you know, where he's going to sit on the motorcycle. You're going to cut off his little leg nubs. Sorry, I'm kind of out of the screen, out of the screen a bit when I do that. Just making sure that the little leg nubs are removed. Now I've got to figure out where my little knees are going to end up. So first we're going to stick the gnome to the back of the bike. So I'm just trying to line them up. So you're going to want to get the, um, you know, the beard kind of lined up in the center. And there we go. Okay, so there he is. 
Next, we're going to add the little legs on. And you wanna have the legs sort of sticking out. So each one kind of angles out from the beard, you see? Yeah, there it is, that's the correct position. And I'm just going to add a little bit of ATG tape to the back of my gnome so I could kind of figure out where this goes. Now, obviously, if I was putting this on a card, I could just glue the items to the card as I was going. But because I'm sort of, you know, showing you how this guy goes together, not on a card base, I just wanted to, you know, show you um, exactly how these get assembled. So you'll notice that I'm lining up the shoes with the little foot rests. So that's what I'm going for. And there he is, isn't he cute? So darn cute. Now you could leave them like that, you know. Um, I'm going to add on two little hands. This is These are Stampin' Up! Mini Dimensionals in black. I just, I have some of those, so I thought, what the heck. I'm going to give him two little hands. And isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? Look how cute he is. Okay, so these are all the pieces I used, right? So I've got the main motorcycle piece is the main motorcycle. Then I use the two little foot rests. I used this little handlebar piece and the two little bars. And those are the headlights. Whoops, I'm pulling on the little leg. There we go. Okay, next I've got that little, that's the little fender right there. And then that is the tire. And then that's the actual tire there. Oops. And we've got, those are the little legs and then the little shoes and the little, you know, tops of the shoes and then the soles right there. And then that's his helmet. And you've got his helmet, his little horns and this little helmet piece, right? Pretty simple and straightforward. And yeah, so that is about it. And he's got his little goggles on as well that he's wearing right there. So pretty simple stuff. And that is what he ended up looking like. Next, we're going to put together um, these little, a different pair of goggles or sunglasses. So we cut them out of paper tray ink black cardstock first. And then I cut them out of um, black glossy cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. So the glasses are glossy this time instead of the uh, lenses. And then on the inside of the glasses, we just cut from, like I said, the um, paper train black cardstock. So shiny rims of the glasses, but, um, you know, matte little shades. Okay, oops, and we're going to show you what it looks like to add on the sidecar now. So I just put a little bit of glue and you're gonna to wanna to have some glue at the end because you wanna have it sort of going behind those two silver, whatever they're called. I don't even know what that's called on a motorcycle. Struts? I don't even know. So I'm just lining up the base of the wheels. So I've got my little sidecar on this and I will weight it down. Now this is the little dog. Now, isn't that darn cute? Okay, so remember that was from the Bicycle and Friends. Okay, so next we're going to give this guy some shades. I took off his little nose so I could show you, you know, how they get positioned. And I'll pop up the little nose again. And now he's got some shades. Isn't he cute? Just the cutest. And then we'll give him the black shoes. Although he does look a little pirate-ish, but how cute is he? He's a biker. Okay, next we're going to put together a different bike. And this is going to be... Um, the ones, you know, those old fashioned bikes with the high handles. So first you cut out the handlebars. Next you get that, um, you know, um, that base part that holds the, the headlights. That is kind of like an aqua colored, uh, glossy cardstock. That's from that die cuts with a view foiled stack, adding on the silver handles, silver mirror. Isn't that fun? Then I'll add the little two grips. And that is dark chocolate cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. So there we go. So this one is going to be kind of like a teal colored motorcycle. Because why not, right? That's why I love that die cuts with a view stack. It's like it's got some fun colors of foil in there. Okay. So next we're going to add on the two little side headlights. And there we go. 
Isn't that fun? And then we will add on the center headlight piece, but I'm going to pop this up. You don't have to, but I thought, why not? You can pop it up. So I'm gonna pop up that center piece and then I will add in that center light. Remember, that's like a white shimmer card stock that I used. I, th I think it's actually Christmas shimmer card stock from American Crafts and I just used the white. Next, I'm going to add on the black tire. So that's kind of a paper train black cardstock. And then I'm gonna pop up that little fender this time. Why not, right? And there we go. So we'll give that a little bit of dimension. And then I have the bike piece and everything going. Now we're gonna add on whatever this is. This, this is, I guess, the gas tank of the motorcycle. We'll add that on. That's that fun teal foil cardstock again. Remember, you can make your bike whatever color you want. I'm going to add on the little footrests. I probably should have made them silver, but I just stuck with black for those. So I'm gonna add those on with my Barely Art glue. And next, we've got those silver things once we get on the handle. So we're gonna add the handles. You see they line right up, right? Kind of fun. It's making sure everything's lined up. Next, we're going to add on these little, um, whatever they are, struts, supports for the, whatever it is, shocks. I don't know. We're gonna add those on next. Remember, there's a little notch at the top. You can see the, how they line up perfectly. And there we go. I just love this and all these fun colors of, of uh, mirror cardstock. Next, we will pop up the tire to give it a little bit of dimension. Um, this is that scrapbook adhesives, uh, you know, uh, dimensionals. They're not super um, dimensional, I guess you'd wanna say. They're a little bit lower. I just wanted a little bit of dimension for fun. And we're just going to center that up, line up the base of that tire. So it's all lined up. And then there is your motorcycle. Remember, you could add a sidecar on if you want to this, or you could just have it plain. Next, we're going to make a little biker chick. So we have our little girl gnome. And first, I'm going to put together her little legs. Those are paper train black cardstock and um, that doodlebugs uh, down on the farm kind of jean pattern. Then I'm adding on black cardstock from paper tray ink for the shoes. Really, you know, those are just so it can support this, uh, the rest of the shoe. So I cut the tops of the shoes out of this fun pink kind of glossy cardstock from that Recollections um, pad. I don't know, it's called Valentine something or other. It basically just has a bunch of specialty cardstock in it and it had this kind of hot pink glossy cardstock in there. It looked lots of fun, so that's what I did. Next, we're going to do some gnome surgery. We're cutting off her body and we're going to add on her little jacket. First cut out of gingham linen from Doodlebug because really it'll kind of look like her shirt. Next, um, we're going to put together her little kerchief that was cut from um, Doodlebug's gingham linen and I did use Distress Ink in Evergreen Bow to ink around the edge. We're just going to add that to the American Crafts black card card base, I guess, or not card base, base of this, um, like base layer of this kerchief. So I'm just going to put this hat together. Okay, there we go. So next we're gonna do some more gnome surgery and remove the top of her hat. But first I'm going to add in her little face that's cut from P13 stamping pad skin tones. No, I'm not. Sorry guys, next we're going to move in with that pink jacket. So we're going to add the two side pieces, that pink shiny cardstock from our collections. Isn't that fun? Then I'm going to add on the lapels. Kind of looks like a pink leather jacket, right? I just thought it was lots of fun. So adding on that. And isn't that fun? She's a stylish little biker. Okay, so next we're going to add on her little face. That's that P13 stamping pad skin tones again that you can get over at the Jada Blossom store. So we're just lining that up. 
Next, we'll do a little bit of gnome surgery, cut off the top of her hat, and then I will add on her kerchief, sort of overlapping the face a bit. There we go. Isn't that fun? Next, we're going to add on some uh, yellow braids. That's American Crafts yellow cardstock. We're just going to add those underneath the kerchief. It lines up perfectly with that edge. And then uh, we have a little nose to pop up. That's that same P13 stamping pad skin tones. There we go. Oops. We decided, I decided, no, she needs some glasses. So I cut her glasses out of that same teal mirror cardstock that I used for the motorcycle. That's from that die cuts with a view foiled stack. And then I'm adding it to black cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. And we're just going to add in the lenses that was cut from um, black glossy cardstock from, from Simon Says Stamp. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to add on two little bows cut from that same hot pink cardstock from Recollections. I'm just going to add those on using my Studio Cati embellishment wand. There we go. Isn't that cute? Oh, she's looking adorable. Next, we will add on her little sunglasses. Lining it up kind of with her hat. I love that. I love those teal shiny glasses that'll match her bike. And then we will pop up her little nose. And isn't she the cutest thing? Oh my goodness, so cute. Okay, so next we're going to add her to the motorcycle. So I add a little bit of ATG to the back of the bike and then we're just gonna line her up. Remember, this is one of those high barred motorcycles that would be totally uncomfortable to drive, I think, because your arms would be like way in the air, right? Although it looks really cool. <laughs> okay, so there we go. So we're lining her up. Now we need to add her two little arms. So I'm just going to line those up behind her um, and stick them down where that rounded piece will touch the handle on either side because that's where, so it looks like her arm is reaching up and then we will add little hands to the handlebars. Sorry, I'm a little out of screen, but you get the gist. I'm lining up those two little um, arms with the top of that motorcycle handle. So it's like she's reaching up. There we go. And I'm just going to clamp those down with my reverse tweezers. It's another handy use for these suckers. Just let them dry there. And then next we will pop up her little hands using Stampin' Up Dimensionals. I already have them on there. And there she is, isn't she cute? We're going to give her her little legs. Remember, you're going to want to, um, those little, um, they angle out, right? So I'm just adding a little bit of ATG to the back. Oops, I keep on grabbing the wrong one. So they want to angle out, and then we want the bottom of the shoe to kind of line up with the shoe rest or the foot rest. And there she is. Isn't she cool? And look at her riding her motorcycle. My goodness, just adorable. So here is my little character. Remember, you could make your bike with the high handles, or you could make your bike... Uh, with the low handles like this guy. And that sidecar can go on either bike. Or you could not use the sidecar at all and just have them, you know, on their motorcycles. Now you can use um, a little, some of those little friends from the bicycle and friends dies. And there is my other little biker and he's just hanging out, not on a bike. And isn't he cute? So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, Be Inspired by the Team, the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these amazing products. And thank you as always for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Come back again and watch another soon. Bye, everybody.